I think the, the global impact and the financial benefits to Northern Ireland are somewhat immeasurable. But I know that what we've had in our little country, we've been through some good times and bad times, as we all know. But to have the biggest and best tournament in the world here in Northern Ireland is certainly a very, very proud moment for us all. And I think it can only showcase the beautiful part of the world that we have here. We've worked here for some time, advised uh, the club on, on various other various projects through the years. Um, but when it comes to what attracts us at Port Rush, I mean, it's that fantastic landscape. It's the amazing dune land that the course plays over. Yeah, there's, I don't think there's, um, in terms of the open venues, there's no, no, none of the venues would have such a dramatic dune Lynx land um, character to it. We have 10 courses, 10 courses on the rotor. The, the, one of the most wonderful things about the Open Championship is that they're all different. They all look different, their settings different, but they all have one consistent thing, which is that they, they challenge the very best players in the world. And uh, I think this course, with the changes that uh, Martin's doing, will be delightfully wild, it will be beautiful, and I think we'll have a fantastic channel. The changes that he's come up with and proposed and are implementing will make this an even better golf course. There was one or two that I wasn't quite sure about, but whenever Martin explained them a little bit more in depth to me and the reasons why, I had to agree with him. He's much better at doing what he, what he does than, I, than I'm doing what I'm doing. But obviously growing up in the town of Port Rush, walking past the, the picture of Max Faulkner, you know, and just everything that's kind of happened, you know, Northern Ireland and, and sort of, you know, peace and, and reconciliation. No, I'm very excited. You know, as a member there, as a proud member there, I've been playing Royal Port Rush from, from when I was a kid. Um, the golf course is sensational. It's a Harry Colt design, uh, which in my opinion is one of the best architects of all time. His course is still stand true to the test of the time to this day. I guess a dream come true for me. I never thought that I was going to be able to play an Open Championship at home. Uh, so for that to, to be a possibility, I'm, I'm really excited about it. It was founded in 1888. Uh, the, the golf course, which is our championship course, is, is called the Dunluce Links. And uh, it was laid out by Harry Colt in the early 1930s. And uh, it's a fantastic golf course, uh, stretches out almost to 7,200 yards and uh, has uh, just a fantastic uh, array of, of quality golf holes. Port Rush has been at the forefront of golf in Northern Ireland since its formation, hosting the inaugural Irish Open Amateur Championship as early as 1892. It really was set up as a course for gentlemen to come and play, uh, mainly travelling by train, um, and uh, the course commenced in the town itself and worked its way out to where we stand here now and beyond. Port Rush was originally a nine-hole course known as the County Club and was extended to 18 holes in 1889, but the changes didn't stop there. The course was changed around the 20s when Harry Colt was brought in to, in effect, redesign and to make a proper championship test. This new championship standard course became the first club outside of mainland UK to host the Open Championship in 1951. Max Faulkner won the title with a total of 285, but what challenges would he have faced? We have a uh, pretty thick rough here at Royal Port Rush. We've got a, a mixture of fescue grass and marum grass, and there's a, uh, a wild rose which uh, grows through the rough as well, which is very clingy, and uh, it makes for getting out of the rough quite, quite difficult here. Uh, obviously, the elements, the, the wind uh, that, that we have here at the seaside, uh, there's not a lot of shelter out there, so uh, that plays a big part in how the golf course plays and how the holes play out there as well. The course is likely bunkered, with the main defence around the greens being the humps and hollows, which your ball can easily disappear into. I think that the uh, on the first nine, the fourth hole, is a fantastic par four. It's, it's named after Fred Daly, who was for a long time the only Irish winner of the Open Championship. Uh, it's a very strong par four hole with out of bounds down the, the, the right hand side. There's a, a, a bunker off the tee as well, which is out there about 260 yards. Ominously named Calamity Corner, the signature hole comes on the back nine. It's a long par three, requiring lots of club and plenty of nerve. 
14th hole generally requires a, a, a long iron shot or, or a fairway wood shot or a hybrid shot. Uh, again, the, the, uh, the hole is, is 210 yards. A lot depends on wh what direction the wind is blowing in, but generally the shot is to the left side of the green where there's a safe area there. There's a little hollow to the left of the green which is named after Bobby Locke. We know it as Bobby Locke's Hollow. And during the Open Championship here in 1951, Bobby Locke uh, uh, was alleged to have played into that hollow deliberately every day and he made his par from it uh, on each occasion as well. It's a course with a good set of teeth, but it's still undergoing some major changes to be ready for the Open, led by renowned course architect Martin Ebert. The changes and modifications that uh, Martin Ebert is making um, are going to put it into a different level completely. The couple of new holes that are going to go in, from everything that I've seen, he's going to just completely move the golf course up to another level. My little brother's on the green staff there, so he, he was talking to me about you know, what they're going to do and, and the hard work that they've got ahead, but I think uh, you know, the golf course is going to be, uh, it's, it's, it's going to go from strength to strength. Host to the Irish Open in 2012, Royal Port Rush was rated one of the world's finest links, even before its planned facelift. The Royal Port Rush is one of my favourite golf courses in the world. I think growing up I was pretty spoiled to have Royal Port Rush and Royal County Island right on my doorstep, and I didn't really I guess I didn't realise how good they were until I'd spend a little time, a bit of time away and then I'd come back and play the golf course and just, you know, you know the, the layout, the, the, the scenery, you know, everything, it's just, it's spectacular. Thick rough and the unpredictable weather of the roaring North Atlantic make Port Rush a tricky prospect for even the most accomplished golfers. So what sort of game do you need to enjoy it here and score well? I think that the you know, strength someone needs to play this golf course well. They need to drive the ball well here. Roll the port rush again. You know the the uh, the, the rough is is pretty bad here, and uh, you know if you can drive the ball onto the fairway at Royal Port Rush, it gives you a, a tremendous opportunity of of playing the course uh, well. The, the greens, uh, there's there's no blind second shots. You can see the greens for your second shots. And many of our greens are slightly elevated as well. So, uh, you know, def definitely putting the ball on the fairway from the tee and being a good long mid-iron player here gives you an opportunity to play this course well. It's a fair golf course. Uh, Royal Port Rush, if you play well, you score well. If you don't, you're going to pay the penalty. And, and you know, that may sound very simple, but not all links courses are like that that we play. But Port Rush is very, very fair. The golf course itself, very exciting, gives, gives you something, it can take it away, that's for sure, but there's plenty of birdies to be made in it, it's a very exciting golf course. I think anybody who's played it or anybody who, who gets to watch the Open in 2019 will really fall in love with this golf course because, you know, what's not to like about it? And for everyone who does make it to Royal Port Rush for the 2019 Open, it looks like being a little bit special. They can expect probably the warmest welcome they've had from any Open. Uh, they can expect to enjoy themselves. They will come, they will watch the tournament and they'll leave thinking it's one of the best events they've ever been to watch. People love their golf in Port Rush and I would suggest, you know, it'd be second to no other tournament when it comes to support and, and atmosphere around an event. To be able to have the Open Championship, the biggest, best tournament in the world, uh, coming to my home club that I've been a proud member of for a very long time. We all can't wait for the Open to get there because it will be a week to remember for everybody.